There was a moment, I think it was in the season premiere, where Jennifer exhibits her powers and accidentally hurts Lynn. Did that bring back any bad flashbacks to when Jefferson first started? Definitely. I mean, all of that, all of that stuff, you know, that sort of... Um, the power of... That sort of sudden realisation of, first of all, this is real, and she does have that power. Because obviously we hadn't really, you know the end of season one we saw how it all went down but it was all but it was kind of such a kind of crazy blaze but i think in that moment of being the context of sitting together and having a conversation and then suddenly realizing that your daughter has this power and she has the power to hurt you and other people and anyone else and ultimately lead to her own demise the, the whole thing i mean the whole thing about this season for lynn is that there's going to be so many triggers and it's going to be so confusing because, you know, ultimately she wants to keep her family safe, right? But also there's this sort of scientific part of it, you know, what's happening. Then she's got, you know, this sense of trying to keep this family together, but they've all just done something that they know they're never going to really recover from, right? They're in there, she killed someone. So Lynn is a different in a very short space of time, and if I'm right, I think in like, isn't episode one like the next day or something, or like a week later? Yeah, they're, like, they're back in the house, but yeah, it's, it's like, very like, short like, space of Jen time. Jen is floating in her sleep. Yeah, but... Jen's floating, <laughs> and you know, shit, shit's happening. So I think, you know, it's going to be, it, it is very, very challenging for Lynn, and she's really not going <clears> to be able, she, she's not going to be able to handle it. I mean, it's just going to be layer upon layer upon layer. I mean, they haven't really dealt with the fact that Anissa had powers. Yeah. That, and because of everything else, got basically kind of shoved to one side. And her she can control. Her she can control, but she is going to go in a certain yeah. direction. As, as you know, she really wants to go out there. She really wants to save the world. So that's another, you know, she's exposed in a different way. And then she's looking at her husband, who not only is now kind of the father of two meta-humans, but also is kind of, you know, not Jefferson the principal anymore. And that, she yeah. knows fundamentally, like, you know, that's really just going to destroy him, that he isn't going to have that influence in those kids' lives. So, And then, you know, the Green Knight babies, and it's just a lot. And I think as capable as Lynn is, and that is what I love about what Lynn is doing, as capable as she is, she can't handle this shit. And I think that's real. <laughs> it yes. would be kind of annoying if she's like, I got this, don't worry. You yeah. know what I mean? No, like, I've got all the answers. She she doesn't. And that dialogue <laughs> that we were talking about this earlier, that dialogue is so incredibly real. When we were talking to Chris, it was like, do you sometimes bring stuff from home? Because it feels <laughs> like a real conversation. When he was trying to tell Lynn, okay, what you're not going to do. She was like, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, I'm, you don't get to talk to me like that. Yeah, sorry. Yeah. No. no. Honestly, <laughs> I think a lot of this stuff comes direct from Lauren and Celine. I think oh, they really? do. Oh, I mean, I didn't even know this, but Celine told me that last season we had the scene at the dinner table where Jen said, oh, I'm ready to have sex. Remember? Of course, we laughed or whatever. And Celine was like, you yeah, know, that Laura did that. She actually did that. Her mum said, And that just went down. <laughs> so I think in a lot of those scenes between Jefferson and Lynn, it's, it's them. It's how they speak to each other. But it feels so real. Yeah, because like, <coughs> I, really really I think that's how, like, generally real companies argue. And I think you can still be, like, crazy about each other and just have this, this, this constant push-pull. And again, yeah. they have been triggered. You know, he's been triggered because he feels like he's not in control of the whole thing. And now she's like, guess what? I killed someone, so you don't get to tell me shit. Right, because I, I threw down, <laughs> none of you have done it, so I'm involved now, and you can't tell me just to stay here and look something up on the computer, because I'm in, mm -hmm. all the way in. And, and one thing that Jeff knows about Lynn is, that when she's in, she's all the way in. So it's kind of like, oh, I hate you, but I love you. <laughs> just want to be there for you, but you drive me crazy. <coughs> I think that is, that's how real couples in sort of real long-term relationships with kids and baggage, that's 
that's how it is. I, you know, I think I think that's what we've sort of mastered quite well on this show is that it feels real. Just like the relationship between Jennifer and Anissa feels real. It feels right? totally real. Doesn't it? Mm -hmm. I feel I can see, but you feel like they're mom. It feels like when the when the camp well, the Fisa even said it. Did she? <laughs> the two of their mom. Like, did, did you take your vitamins? Did you did just she? leave? Yeah. Oh, that's so funny. Yeah, because I remember. Where were we just? Oh, at Comic Con, and <laughs> I must have gone in the morning. You know, we had to start really early, and I'd gone up to the thing and I filled my bag with like just food. Because I'm always like, I never want to give me out food because I've got kids myself. So I then had this bag. I had croissants in it. I had candy bar. Of course, we get on this bus, and the face is like. Oh. I'm that hungry, I didn't even get a chance to have breakfast. I was like, don't worry. <laughs> <laughs> I got I was like, but, you know, it just, it, that part of it is so easy for me to relate to, which I suppose helps just to connect to the material. You know, and that is one of the other things I think obviously Chris and I both have daughters and we can plug into something very, very real, you know, when things happen with our kids. You know, it doesn't, it's not a massive leap for us to be like, what I feel, right? So I think that definitely helps, but it's also it is good writing. It, it just is. You know, we never have to like look at a scene and go, hmm, how are we going to convey this feeling? Because it's right there. So, you know, 